So I'm just trying to understand, I guess, that the comment around inadequate management. Yeah. So your thoughts on where that comes so from? So what's happened, and it certainly happened towards the end of my career. So what, what happened is you got to a situation where officers, senior officers, were afraid to discipline for fear of being called a bully. Or, uh, you know, we, so in the Met, we had discipline, we had grievance procedures, we had different procedures where, where people could complain about you. I, I had a couple of grievances where people weren't happy about the way that I dealt with things with them. Um, and some would be dealt with uh, through one-to-ones and some would be dealt with through discipline. You know, you'd, you'd actually, we, the form was called a 163 where you, we would get informed that you're now a part of a, an investigation. The problem we had was that cops, senior cops, or, or, or cops that had supervisory status, so your sergeants, inspectors, chief inspectors and above, basically were too afraid to, to, to discipline, um, hadn't been given the right tools. And so what was happening is a lot of bad behaviour was being allowed to continue because the cops were afraid or, or the super supervisors were afraid to discipline them for fear of being accused of bullying. So that definitely happened. Uh, and towards the end of my career, I could see it happen more and more and more. So... I'm not saying you say I'm not saying you would turn a blind eye, but rather than deal with something robustly, mm. it would be like, oh mate, don't do that again. Come on. When really that officer either should have been it stuck on for bollocking, discipline, yeah. should have been given either, you know, a, a recorded written warning, verbal warning, whatever. It was dealt with weak you know from a weak point of view. It's like fucking catch twenty two though, isn't yeah. it? Because you've literally got in the same report inadequate management, bullying and culture. So it's almost like you can't do wrong for doing right. Yeah, mate, that's, that's welcome to the world of police. But so I, that's, that's never changed. So from day one, sorry, Danny, from day one, right? And this is the this is the issue with the police that I get really frustrated about, especially on the news. So the news always report about poor or bad police behaviour, never about the millions and thousands of good things they do. But you're right, you, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And that's always been the same. I've accepted it. So I've accepted that on some days I'm going to get praised to the hilt for doing exactly the same thing and another day, I'm going to be lambasted, and I've been I've been lambasted by, by by everybody up to um, shadow home secretary, uh, and I've been praised right up to, to Lord Mayor of, of London. So, it's it's it is part and parcel of the job. But the difference is, I don't moan about it; I've accepted it.